What's up, family? I wanted to expound on a scripture that we went over in our lesson, the scriptures versus Christianity. Now, I'm going to make this statement and I'm going to make it very, very clear. The information that I bring out to you, I want to make sure first and foremost that it is 100% verifiable. And what you do with that information is completely up to you. But I am going to always assure that the scripture can back up anything that I say and that this can also be verified in the world as well. But I don't ever want you to take my word for anything. I want you to open your eyes and open the book, which is our Bible, and bury your nose in that book so that you can verify that anything that I say is accurate or for any person bringing these scriptures out that is accurate. Don't ever depend on what we say. Go in there and look at it for yourself, okay? I want you to go to Micah chapter 3 and verse 11. I'm going to read this here to you. The heads thereof judge for reward, meaning a compensation. And the priests thereof teach for hire, meaning that they do what they do to earn an income. The prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. So what is this speaking of right here? This is again talking about these Christian pastors and some camp leaders that teach for money, that love to ear tickle and tell you the things that you want to hear to help you fulfill your lust. But they do it for money. They teach for money. And that's what the scriptures are talking about here, that these Christian pastors and some camp leaders, that's what they do. So the majority last night was speaking of the Christian pastors. So what I'm going to do, and I'm also going to provide the links for you to go and verify this here yourself. We are going to see some of these top Christian pastors' earnings. Let's see if the Bible actually tells the truth in regards to this. Now, the first person right now, take a look at this here, family. We're going to talk about T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes' earnings as of 2020 were $20 million. Creflo Dollar, $30 million. Gino Jennings, $0.8 million. Tony Evans, $113 million. Now that's just some of them, that's just some. But didn't we also learn last night that the scripture said that the true prophets who are bringing this word out, that they are going to suffer with those amounts right there. Are these men suffering at all? The answer is no. Is the Bible 100% accurate? The answer is yes. The Bible is accurate. The father told us about these individuals here. The father told us. And as you see, they teach for hire. You can do your own independent investigation and come up with the same conclusion. But I'm just bringing this out here so that you can actually see what the father said in his book and how 100% dead pinpoint accurate it truly, truly is. The Bible does not lie. The Bible cannot be proven wrong. The most high's accuracy is 100% and has been from the beginning. So when you take a look at these passes, you can see these local passes aspiring to be them. They aspire to earn that type of living and they do it at your expense. They lie to you and say that you have to continue to pay tithes and they send that collection plate around so many damn times just within one particular lesson which is on a Sunday and on Wednesday if they do Wednesday Bible studies. And how many different collections do they send around? I'm telling you, 
I need our family to open your eyes in regards to what's happening around you. This information needs to get out to our people. We can't just stop there with one lesson. We have to make sure that we continue to push the propellers so that we can continue to save our people. We have a job to do. This information must go out. We have to be able to educate our people with the information that's presented right in front of us. These earnings of theirs is public. Whether it be posted in Forbes or what have you, the information is public. And the father said that his prophets suffer. So I want you to go really quick to James chapter five and verse 10. We got to bring this out. James chapter five and verse 10. And we are going to see exactly what the father has to say. Not me, but the father. Take, my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Now, we know a lot of those pastors don't have any patience when you send around that collection plate. Because if they see that that number is low, they'll send it around again. But those men don't suffer. They don't suffer. Our brothers out here bringing out this truth. We're the ones that suffer. The persecution. As a matter of fact, let's get another one. I want you to go to Acts chapter 7 and verse 52, please. Acts chapter 7 and verse 52. I got to make sure everything I say, I back up with scripture. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which shewed before of the coming of the just one. Of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. Do y'all see why I always call these Christian pastors murderers? Because that's what they are. They betrayed our people, just like we learned last night. They continue to betray our people, just like we learned last night. I cannot make this up, family. This is all real. And the information must go out. You must do your part. I'm going to continue to do mine. But if anything was to happen to me, I'm going to ask y'all a question. Who's going to take over? It doesn't just stop there. If they were to come and put a bullet in my head today, who's going to be the one to stand up and say, yo, I got this? Which one of you brothers? Who's going to do it? It's up to you. It's up to you. Okay? So family, I just wanted to go ahead and bring that information out just so that you can see a little bit more evidence, further proof of what I was talking about last night and how accurate the scriptures are. The father could never, ever lie. All right. And with that being said, Israel, I love you. I'm out.